Hi. Good morning. Good morning. Magandang umaga. Live na ba ako? Who's with me? Mabuhay. Mabuhay world. Mabuhay world. Magandang umaga, Ohio, you Magandang umaga, Ohio, USA. Magandang umaga, <clears throat> North America. Magandang umaga, USA and Canada. And down there somewhere in uh, South America, what countries are morning time in South America? <laughs> I wonder, I think Mexico. It's morning time also in Mexico. How about Brazil? How about countries in South America? Hola, hola. Magandang umaga and magandang gabi, Pilipinas. Magandang gabi, Pilipinas. Kumusta po? Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta po kayo? Kumusta kayo? Kumusta kayo? Good morning, Japan. I I wish I have a viewer from Japan, at least one. <coughs> and I wish I have viewers from South Korea. Me and my husband, we are fan of Korean novellas. Comment down below if you are, you also are watching Korean novellas. <coughs> Do I have viewer? Welcome to my channel. I'm Albine. <coughs> Yeah, are you not excited for for my what lecture for today? Learning Tagalog, our Tagalog practice for today. <laughs> Actually, I prepared lots. I have lots of slides for you today. Tell me if you're with me. I'm all I'm all bind. <laughs> I'm all bind. Kumusta sana ay nasa mabuti kang kalagayan sana sana ay nasa mabuti kang kalagayan i hope you are doing fine hello yeah i don't think i need to be a slacker today i need i need to start er as early as possible so that i will be able to finish this this stuff that I have prepared for you actually I stayed late late last night just to finish all these contents that I prepared for you and our title for today our topic for today is about bucket bucket or in English that means that means why okay while I'm waiting a little bit for a presence of my audience I need to pull out my own video and find out if I'm really going live okay and so yeah yeah <laughs> bucket yeah I need to silence this gadget so it doesn't distract distract us distract distract us distract what 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 is the right to, how to say that distract yes distraction ha huh. i'm really struggling with my english pronunciation it's confusing that's why i'm here it's a training for me so i'm training myself uh speaking in english well yeah and that's why i appreciate the presence of english speakers here in my channel hello and i already have got bunch of uh, uh, regular viewers and i like to mention you guys hello kim hello mona hello simon hi kelly i think kelly you are still in bed that's all right i just want to mention you yeah and i will see you later uh, i i i hope that you will be watching the replay of this video comment down below if you're here let me change my screen yeah oh i already have some viewers is this oh am i <laughs> is this true yay thank you hi kim good morning yes yes and hi simon magandang hapon uh, yes we are getting together again i'm happy 
<laughs> I'm happy. Yeah, as I said, I have lots of slides for you today, and I like. I wish I'm. Be, I'll be able. Uh, I'll be able to cover lots also. And yes, uh, it's a new topic for us. We are already done with with Magkano. Although uh, with the first few slides would be uh, uh, some review and recall. Uh, yeah, but uh, our topic, new topic for today, is about bakit how to ask why in Tagalog and along with that I also like to introduce to you how to use my and my own and yes I'm excited about this <laughs> I'm so excited and I hope you are also excited and I say I don't want to be a slacker I need to 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 cover much as much as possible but tell me well it's Sunday morning and it's it's weekend and yeah we don't need to be very serious uh, it's better to just hang out, just like uh, 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 having a, a sip of coffee or any kind of drinks that you have. Uh, well, like we are, <laughs> like we are meeting up in person. Like uh, imagine we are out there uh, in a certain coffee shop and just talking and hanging out. I wish that I, that will be my our format for each live or for each sessions that we have. But yeah, of course, I know you are hungry for for instructional materials. Yes, I'm also all for that. Now, my request, please comment down below. What do you want? What is your mood for today? Are you? A, do you feel like you are a slacker for today, or do you feel like you want to be like? A, empty and you want to be filled with with lectures tell me is locker or not locker comment down below <laughs> yes for fun yes and i like uh, i like interaction yes how is that and it's already 10 38 my time thank you f uh thank you in advance for showing up and yes please stay with me uh, for one hour, I promise, or we could be uh, uh, spending a little bit of extension or few minutes extension. I hope you will be fine or not. We will really, I can cut it. I will, uh, I can cut it somewhere, okay? And also, what shall I say? Okay, if you are new in this channel, let me change screen. Welcome to my channel. This is Learning with Albine. I'm Albine. I teach Tagalog. I help you with your Tagalog. Okay, with regards to that, uh, why I'm doing it, I can I can go on and on and on about why why I'm doing it, how it how I do it. But we will find time. I will find time to tell you about that in details okay and if you are new in this please don't forget to subscribe and also like this episode like this episode google wants it <laughs> google wants many likes yes and whether you like it or not like it <laughs> yes and if you, if there's something like uh, uh, things that bother you feel free to comment down below I, we will talk about it in a nice way and also uh, yes if you are new in this channel feel free to browse or uh, watch my old videos it I, I believe you will it will be very helpful for your Tagalog practice okay and and I tell you I'm doing we are doing this regularly every weekend this is Sunday morning here in North America so remember this time of the day when, wherever you are in the world and also another set of live on a friday night my time okay <laughs> yeah so shall we shall we start now let me see i have four concurrent viewers that's good maybe later it will double up uh, eight later yes <laughs> that's how i think about it it's all right and what else let's change screen chat let's go let's just see how we how far we get thank you kim it's locker for simon <laughs> yeah yeah how far we can get let's see okay let's get it started right now mm -hmm. so how to construct uh, 
interrogative statement or patanong na pangungusap. Patanong na pangungusap. Interrogative statement. And this is it. Okay, change pointer. And that's my pointer. And next slide. Okay. So, so now as a going back to our checklist, uh, we have covered much already. Yes, uh, read it from top to bottom. Those with check, it means it, I have presented it already and video is out there. Actually, I have a playlist for all this for you, for your easy reference. And now we will, we will uh, talk about bucket or why. Yes, and of course, later after bucket is done, we will be coming up with paano and gaano and kanino. Yes, okay. And also, by the way, maybe I would like to repeat my presentation with my ano and sino uh, content because I started it, uh, uh, I did it when I was just starting and it was, uh, to me, it was, it was not that good when I was just starting. So I think I will go back with presentation on ano and sino later, later when all, all in this checklist is done. Okay, so yeah, I like to, I like to double up, and this is just review anyway. I don't need to be a slacker in these uh, uh, slides. Okay, review. Uh, oh yeah, in short, I have presented to you various formats on how to use magkano in a sentence or in a question statement, right? Uh, an interrogative statement. Okay, yes, those are your guide. Uh, format. I hope that it's all easy to follow for you. And also, there I have come up with two slides for this. There's lots actually. Look at that. I counted it. I think it it came down to 12, 12 formats. Okay. Feel free to watch it again if you want to recall some kind of recall. Yep. And yes. Uh, I want to present to you these pictures. Uh, I have three, I think, that uh, I want to show you that this is the environment in the Philippines. At least, if you, uh, the chances when you would like to ask Magkano, get to uh, the place like that, Palenque Market, open market. It could be dry market or wet market out in the Philippines and you would uh, talk to a Filipino vendor you would say magkano magkano ang talong magkano ang kalabasa magkano ang kamatis yes and uh, yeah don't expect some tag price just ask the vendor okay and then next I like to make it faster this time and so now uh, this is an example of a sari sari store Sorry, sorry, store an example. And I, I would like to acknowledge Bruce Bodo for taking all the pictures here. Yes, thank you, baby. Thank you, my husband, for the pictures. <laughs> Next. Uh, also, these are the chances when you would ask Magkano when you have to take this public transportation jeepney. You, t you ask the driver, how much is the fare from? This is along Taft Avenue and Edsa. If you're fa familiar in the Philippine uh, Manila thoroughfare, this is a, a crossing uh, intersection of Edsa and Taft Avenue. <laughs> yes, for example, you're going uh, up, going up, up north, I think towards Luneta or City Hall or Quiapo. Yes, you will take this jeepney and then you will ask the driver, Mama, magkano ang, papunt ang hanggang Quiapo? Ma Mama, magkano ang hanggang Quiapo? Well, anyway, if you're not patient for uh, like taking a jeepney, that's all right. You can take taxi instead, okay? Or you can take this uh, LRT the train right yes uh, yeah but this time of the year about covid be careful <laughs> okay next okay and yeah let me see let me see okay and so now this is the start of our new discussion new new uh, lesson for today which is 
bakit in english is why and yes picture credit to ramil rodriguez my friend and high school classmate thank you and next okay so bucket of course as i like to say it requires requires an answer that pertains to a cause of something that has happened or about to happen i think that's uh as of last night that's what how i thought about it uh tell me if you have additional uh, no uh, uh additional uh, what note on what how to define uh what uh why or bucket pertains to a cause of something it must be a reason you're you're finding uh, an answer to a reason of something i think that that's why we want the the question bucket bucket okay next and then of course halimbawa means example yes let's have an example here bakit ako naglalakad maglalakad bakit ako maglalakad so lakad is the root word here bakit ako maglalakad how do you say it in english why will i walk why will i walk bakit ako maglalakad okay and let's move on and then of course there must be an answer to your question okay and then uh, it's me who would ask bakit ako maglalakad bruce bakit ako maglalakad and of course maybe bruce will tell me maglalakad ka kasi ayaw umandar ng kotse maglalakad ka kasi sa hypothetical it has not happened yet that i would be i would be needing to walk somewhere because the car uh, the car won't run okay so i'm just uh, making up some kind of uh, uh scenes okay so bruce has to say you will walk because the car won't run Again in Tagalog, maglalakad ka kasi ayaw umandar ng kotse. I hope you appreciate that. Yes, next, next. Next. Okay, bakit ka nagbihis? Bakit ka nagbihis? I hope you would be able to guess what would be the format in this example a couple of examples that I'm presenting to you so bakit ka nagbihis how does it uh, uh, how do you say that in english why did you dress up why did you dress dress up bakit ka nagbihis so what do you think will be the answer bakit ka nagbihis I think Kim has the answer to this. Let's find out. Okay. Okay. So maybe this is Kim what Kim will say. Nagbihis ako kasi magsisimba ako. Nagbihis ako kasi magsisimba ako. Okay. I dressed up because I'm going to church. Okay, bihis is the root word. Nagbihis, par, past tense, past tense. Dress, dressed up. I think this is the English translation. Nagbihis, dressed up. And then ako, of course, I am. And then kasi, because. Kasi means because. Magsisimba, going to. Magsisimba. Of course, there's a next word after going to a church. Magsisimba is as one word to say going to church. Yes, magsisimba ako. And then in this regard, uh, the root word is simba. Simba is the root word. Okay, again, uh, let me see. Uh, past tense, where past tense, present tense, future tense. Nagbihis nagbihis nagbibihis magbibihis nagsimba magsisimba what nag nagsimba nagsisimba magsisimba i hope there's no confusion and then as i promised to mona and kim um, 
but that was yesterday uh, I will come up with a um, uh, collection of uh, of uh, these words there uh, the the column or the table must be one column for root word the second columns are various transformation out of that root word and then the English counterpart of the root word I promise you I'm not forgetting that okay I will we will come up with that but for now you have your notes uh, just um, I hope that you are writing down what are the root words in these examples that I'm showing you be his and Simba root words here okay yeah Kim, you just said thank you. You are very welcome anytime. Next. Okay, so now I want to, of course, I think I already have presented this uh, table to you before. So these are pronouns. In Tagalog, we call it panghalip. Panghalip for pronouns. And then panao, that, that stands for personal. Personal. Personal pronouns. Pronouns. Panghalip. Panao. So you remember ako. Ako is I or me. Sometimes you use ko instead of ako. But that is not the scope of this uh, this uh, presentation. We will come up with that later. What's the difference between ako and ko? Or I think I already posted several examples. Uh, I think it was Simon who asked me that how to how to use uh, what's the difference between ako and ko uh, I already answered that over there on YouTube but of course it's nice to have a uh, video uh, discussion uh, presentation of that it's all right I would be uh, repeating it again and again because it's helpful okay ako I and me okay and then ka means you Sia, okay, I'm not going to mention anymore this uh, English counterpart because you are able to read it. Okay, I'll just read the, the Tagalog, Tagalog column. So remember ako, remember ka, which is uh, the person I'm talking to, or my kausap, I would use ka. And then siya, the person that we are talking about, not in this, uh, it's the third party, siya, but singular. Sila is another third party, but plural, more than one. Tayo, it includes you, it includes you, includes me, and the third party, us, okay? And uh, kayo is plural. Ta what's the difference between tayo and kayo? Kayo. Yeah, kayo, it doesn't include me. It's you, you, along with the... Uh, third party I think I have described it very well okay good luck to me <laughs> yeah okay next next and then Simon said yes thank you you're very welcome <laughs> yes and this is Halimbawa again okay let's do this okay uh, the first example previous ex example it was bakit ka nag bihis and then that was uh, we were referring to the the action that already happened this time is the action that 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 oh no this one doesn't mean uh, some future uh, activity but it means uh, i think in this form this is what you call infinitive let's see Bakit kailangan kong magbihis? Yeah, I think this is the infinitive word in Tagalog. Infinitive form of the verb. Bihis is the root word. Bakit kailangan kong magbihis? Let's find out what does it mean in English. Why do I need to dress up? So, really, uh let me uh, maybe we will help each other here to dress to dress is this the infinitive uh, verb in english so if this to dress is the infinitive form of the verb so magbihis is the counterpart of that in tagalog okay kailangan kailangan is need i need but i for ko so this means ko plus ng i already have explained why there's ng at the end of the word it's really just a connector 
that means uh, another word, another important word will be mentioned after ko kung magbihis. Bakit kailangan kong magbihis? Why do I need to dress up? Okay, let me see some comment. This sounds like a conversation I have with my kids since quarantine started. Mom, why do I need to dress up? They can't see me. <laughs> Yeah, I think you see uh, it's nice to dress up so that you're you, you get uh, some clothes to wash later. <laughs> Is that the right answer? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Next, why do I need to dress up? Bakit kailangan kong magbihis? Okay. I hope you uh, you repeat after me, Kim, and you will tell that later. You will ask it again to your child later. Okay. So. And then, why do I need to dress up? Next, okay, another example. So this time, I didn't uh, give you the answer. It's up to you. You, to you tell your, your child what is the answer. Why does he or she needs to? Was it a Christian you were referring to? Why does he need to dress up? I'm just staying home. Bakit pwede siyang pumasok? Okay, sometimes this is really something. Maybe for a child, sometimes you would not... You will tell your child, you're not allowed to get in. And then let's see. Bakit pwede siyang pumasok? Why is he allowed to get in? And then sometimes there is like a, and then you're not allowed to, act, uh, to get in for some reason. And then sometimes, bakit siya nakapasok? Ako naman hindi. <laughs> Something like, some kind of questioning like that. Why did you allow him? I, you're not allowing it on me. Okay. Bakit pwede siyang pumasok? Okay, so this time we added this word pwede is allowed and then previously it was kailangan which is need. Okay, I hope you get the difference. Bakit pwede siyang pumasok? Why is he allowed to get in? Okay, next slide. And another, another example. Bakit asul ang langit? Okay, what does it mean in English? I hope you I hope you are able to guess it. What is asul and what is langit? Take your time to guess what these words are. Good, give me. Yes, Christian. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Bakit asul ang langit? I am practicing myself to remember names. I like to remember. I, when I was uh, teaching, teaching back there in the Philippines, it's hard for me to, to memorize names of uh, my students, even if I've been seeing them in person. But I can identify faces. But what is the name, really? What is the name? I cannot recall. <laughs> I can identify faces, how they look at. But I would need to to get my class record uh, list of students. Is this you? Is this you? <laughs> Sometimes I'm doing, like for some question. I uh, I want students to participate. Okay, here's my class record. I read this name. Okay, please say something. <laughs> That's how I do it. But this time I need to memorize names like Samson and Simon and Christian and. Buko, <laughs> okay, that's fun. Okay, next, uh, what is the English counterpart of this? Why is the sky blue? Yes, bakit asul ang langit? Asul for blue, and then langit for sky. Okay, enhancing your vocabulary. This time we have langit, langit this time. <laughs> No idea. <laughs> Why is the sky blue? It's just a question that pops up, right? Buko. <laughs> yes, it's just a question that pop, pops up. Like, especially if you're talking to a toddler. Sometimes, you see, toddlers have lots of bucket questions, I believe. You see, and it's fun. <laughs> it's fun. What is that? Uh, yeah, I remember. Okay, I don't want more stories. I have stories to tell, but uh, maybe later. 
it's <laughs> okay and uh, I would be a bit of emotional but yeah maybe I will skip my story so you better watch out later look for me later for my story <laughs> back it us especially on toddler on toddlers and qu asking questions I have something to say <laughs> next next okay now let's come up with the format actually actually I, I can think of other more format uh, after this that's why I am uh, I believe that I'm going to come up with part two of this presentation bucket bucket uh, presentation so these are just few first few formats that we can have okay remember the format bucket followed by personal pronoun and then followed by by event or verb so i believe that this event or verb can either be uh, past tense or future tense or uh, infinitive form of verb something like that okay i'm not really so very technical on this uh, parts of speech or or groupings the verb i'm not much of a practical or uh, eloquent or something because I'm more on a practical sense and then just on practice just practice it just practice it it will come up subconsciously put it in your mind subconsciously and then the, if you would like to to what do you call that explain uh, what how it comes together other I think that's why let's just take it in a very smooth way relaxed way don't bother about uh, 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 how it's uh, what is what is uh, how do you call this kind of form or what just don't bother <laughs> but yes I think um, my f this format will help you back it personal pronoun followed by by an event or verb whatever form or, of verb you will find out which one will fit later maybe as simple as that okay next next is bucket and then followed by adjective which the that example was bucket azul oh no later this one okay uh, so for example bucket ka umayaw okay this is my example for this uh, line bucket ka umayaw why did you say no and then bucket adjective with is uh, uh, maganda or something mabuti personal pronoun verb infinitive what was my example here now I forgot ah kailangan bakit kailangan mong magbihis this format bakit kailangan mong magbihis bakit pwede kang sumama sumama is join next another format bakit followed by adjective bakit asul ang langit something bakit apat ang paa paa fit okay uh, bakit uh, so number is used as an adjective right bakit maganda something well you can come up with something and join it together with an adjective followed by ang bakit <laughs> well we have lots of example this is just a simple form right sometimes it's not enough because you would not be able to come up with with complete uh, information although it comes up along your conversation like you are talking of something like bucket <laughs> bucket sira ang pinto or something like that okay bucket sira adjective which is broken ang and then the article and then followed by noun which is pinto bakit sira ang pinto why the door is broken that's how you would say it okay I hope you appreciate that yes and we have we have about 30 minutes to go and I think let's find out what's next I hope you appreciate this first few format that I'm sharing with you and we will come up with a list later more right next next is more halimbawa yeah this one this is funny 
Bakit may pakpak ang balita? This is a common question or naughty question or what makulit question in the Philippines. Makulit question. <laughs> Bakit may pakpak ang balita? How would you like to, to ask that in English? Why the news has wings? <laughs> Why the news has wings? It's figurative, right? Figurative, but it's makulit question. <laughs> because in the Philippines, uh, gossip, gossip is a pastime, <laughs> right? Bakit may pakpak ang balita? I hope Kim or Simon or Kim has reaction in this topic. <laughs> Bakit may pakpak ang balita? Why the news has wings? That question, do you ask it here in English, in America, or the, over there in, in Europe? Uh, do, how do you say it in your region about this figurative uh, question, phrase, may pakpak ang balita. News has wings. Okay. Okay, and now I'd like to present to you this one. Uh, please remember this. This is a Filipino proverb. Most likely, I'm not sure, or it would be a proverb from other culture, but I think I heard this. I, I, I heard this when I was younger, and it was uh, like it's the previous generations who created this. I think, may tainga ang lupa, may pakpak ang balita, tainga for ears. May tainga ang lupa, may pakpak ang balita, tainga, tainga. Tainga or tainga. 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 Sometimes this one, this word is already spelled as T E N G A. I think I like to I like to write it on chat. Yeah. So uh, tainga. Also the same as saying tenga. Just like taika, teka, something like that. Tenga. Okay, so it's up to you what you want to use. I would like to use tainga rather than tenga, tenga, yes, something like that. Okay, uh, for the ears, I, I like to say that uh, means ears. What? I hope you appreciate my my uh, comments here. Yeah, tenga or tainga is your ears. Okay, next. Ang, of course, article, then lupa is land, the land, the soil, or the land, the earth. Earth could be in this context. Why the earth has uh, ears? Why? And then, uh, pak pak, wings. The news has wings. Tell me, uh, uh, Simon, if you have the same uh, proverb like this, or how do you say it in your uh, native tongue about uh, ears and the news? and the wings of the news tell me i hope you appreciate this slide and uh, and what else uh, yeah that's why i presented this uh, because uh, yeah i asked bakit may pakpak ang balita <laughs> something like that so now because of this proverb i would like to move on to uh, introducing to you what is my and also what is my own right that is that's my i think my highlight for today i like to bring it to you this highlight okay next next so and another uh, okay before that my then so so i presented my in the previous example this time i'm presenting my own my own bucket my bucket my own kang pamaypay and this is the Pamaypay. Bakit mayroon kang pamaypay? Okay, so may or mayroon both both mean have or has. Have or has. Okay, why do you have a fan? Because it's summer, it's hot. Okay, bakit mayroon kang pamaypay? E kasi mainit. That could be the answer, right? E kasi mainit, bakit mayroon kang pamaypay? And so, for your easy understanding, I'll pick a picture for you. I hope you like it, right? 
Uh, never heard of it. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's all right. You never heard of it. Wings. You remember that, Simon? May pakpak ang balita. Oh, oh no. May tenga ang lupa. Ears. The land. The earth. There's ears. And then uh, the news or the gossip has wings it can fly <laughs> yeah you are wondering why do these people know this this uh, something about me i'm being talked about <laughs> yeah that's the con the, the meaning of this uh, proverb yeah right bakit mayroon kang pamaypay why do you have a fan okay next okay now i'd like to present to you this one the use of my right yeah my 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 m a y my use my when the word that comes after it may be any of this so my followed by a noun my followed by an adjective my followed by verb my followed by the word mga my mga and then my followed by possessive pronouns i presented to you in the first few slides Ba, uh, my possessive um, akin or something I will have example in the next slide including oh, let, uh, it's hiding <laughs> yeah including pronouns that repeat including pronouns that repeat okay it could be confusing it could be hard for you to remember but just listen or just take note of it it, it, I, it doesn't matter whether you 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 um what you under you understand it right away or not it's all right it's just i'm just introducing it to you for your practice right next uh, these are examples my plus noun my anak is the noun my anak nang dalaga si katrina my anak nang dalaga si katrina Okay, so in English, you, you say it like, Katrina has a grown-up daughter because daughter dalaga. So grown-up dalaga because uh, if the child is not yet like adult, so it's just bata in Tagalog, bata. Okay, dalaga for a female grown-up. My an and not married, not married. My anak ng dalaga si Katrina. Katrina has grown up daughter. So my here is for has, has, and then anak of course is the daughter. And then later this word, I'm not going to to explain to you what about this word. Just take note of it. We will have another episode for this word, right? Not today. Okay. My anak ng dalaga si Katrina. That's how the example of my plus noun. Okay. I want reaction. And there's no reaction. I hope that uh, you like it and uh, you're enjoying this one. Next. And then my plus noun again. My plus noun. Ang bahay. Bahay is house. I my tanod. My tanod. My and noun tanod is the noun here. Tanod. Tanod. Ang bahay ay may tanod sa pinto. Let's find out what it means in English. The house, which is bahay. The for ang. The house has. Then it's my. My. A watchdog. Watchdog. Tanod. Tanod, actually, tanod means watcher, literally. Watcher, it could, it doesn't mean a dog or what. It could be a security guard. Yeah, a person. It could be a person or something that uh, look after your, watch over or look after your house. Yeah, it could be a security guard or a dog. Ang bahay ay may tanod sa pinto. Literally, tanod means watcher watcher yeah watch dog so i asked i, I was uh, attempting to literally translate it 
word for word but bruce i i consulted bruce about no we don't say it that way just simply say watchdog <laughs> the house has a watchdog okay so i hope my explanation is okay okay i understand thank you <laughs> next 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 one my plus adjective my and i followed by adjective my magandang magandang pag-asa kayo maganda literally in tagalog maganda is beautiful but sometimes maganda can be can be used not in just an object uh, it can be used figuratively in abstract sense abstract i think that's the word maganda like magandang umaga so if you literally translate it beautiful morning but that means good morning so but in, this is a valid tagalog example and yeah i gathered this example from the reference that i am i'm uh, keeping and that reference i gathered uh, it was written by Lope K. Santos. Lope, what year was that? I think it was in the 1940s when he wrote this. Uh, uh, what uh, grammar in Tagalog is Bali, Bali, Bal, Balarila, Balarila. His uh, yeah, instructional materials on how to speak Tagalog properly speak Tagalog properly and yeah Lope K. Santos I believe his title is the father of Tagalog uh, literature or something yeah and he, that is my reference my that's why and some of the examples I borrowed from that uh, uh, publication that Lope K. Santos uh, came up my magandang pag-asa kayo so how does how what does it mean in English so I was also like discussing this with with Bruce and he said he, uh, I was asking what is the adjective that ca that you would like to attach with hope and he said no he said there's no adjective before it we don't use any adjective but yeah literally in in Tagalog we have may magandang pag-asa kayo so tell me if if um, maybe uh, Bruce missed something maybe there would be <laughs> adjective before hope that is equivalent to maganda of course it it uh, maganda could be like pleasant could be a uh, uh, acceptable or favorable something that you would like maganda mabuti good right so my followed by adjective and then pag-asa is the hope which is noun okay kayo which is you so again your root word here, here is asa for pag-asa my magandang pag-asa kayo okay time check it's a uh, 19 minute what 11 19 so uh, just about about 10 minutes before i need to end this uh session let's see let's see where we are now and let's see i have five concurrent viewers thank you for all these five where is the others please tell me you're with me uh, please don't be shy to say your present and hi simon hi kim who else do i did i miss any anybody else yeah and please don't be quiet <laughs> join our interaction here right my magandang pag-asa you have hope i want interaction because i can be lonely without interaction because with my past job in the philippines i was a classroom teacher i meet my students in a physical <laughs> physical world, what sense yeah and i uh, like i can see where my students are sleeping or when my students are chatting at each other <laughs> where when you're on youtube or broadcasting this way i don't see my audience what they're doing <laughs> that's why interaction please comment please comment please <laughs> okay my and then another example my plus adjective salaot ay may gangabundok na mga daluyong i am very poetic here don't blame me because my uh, reference is uh, 
past generation, 1940s author, Lope K. Santos. <laughs> Sa laot ay may gangabundok na mga daluyong. And I hope it's useful to you. And yes, when you return to the Philippines, the Filipinos would would uh, would wonder or would be amazed at you wow your tagalog is nice better than mine <laughs> yes i think that i want i want you to be i want you to be that kind of person when you get to the philippines filipinos would notice you wow your tagalog is better than mine oh, okay how is that you could be that person later on Okay. Sa laot ay may gangabundok na mga daluyong. Okay, let's find out what in, it means in English. Because take note, I'm I'm um, I'm introducing to you the use of my my. Okay, may gangabundok na mga daluyong, right? Here in the open sea, open sea, laot, open sea. Okay, so because uh, my focus really is about Filipino and our ways of life in the Fi in the Philippines and our environment in the Philippines, you see as uh, you know very well that Philippines is an archipelago, archipelago. So group of islands, especially me, I came from a small island. So laot that means like yeah, in the Philippines um huge percentage of occupation is fishing fishing open sea open sea laot and then as i like the difference when i from the philippines and when i got here how i'm americans speak they always mention ocean 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 even if just a sea to to us we say sea which is dagat dagat Okay, and as as Filipinos, we refer to ocean as Pacific Ocean. Yes, that huge uh, part of the body of water. But if it's not, uh, it doesn't belong to Pacific Ocean, like inland water or archipelago water, like in Marinduque. The our sea, the sea next to us, is not an ocean. It's just a dugout or just a sea it's not an ocean to us but I don't know so now Laot we refer to Laot is for the fishermen who goes out uh, far away far away out in the open sea to catch fish okay and like well in Marinduque our sea is not that wide probably like we are talking about Ganga Bung Ganga Bundok Ganga Bundok is mean it means literally mountain like means huge huge wave mountain like because out there in the ocean possibly if you are fishing out uh, next to Philippine Sea or uh, South China Sea I think it happens to have Ganga Bundok na Daluyong which is waves Daluyong right I hope you can relate to what I'm telling so and also uh, my orientation is most most of, of my orientation is marine duke environment so it's very rare for our fishermen to encounter ganga bundok na waves or daluyong right because it's just a small sea most likely this would occur like uh, out there in the uh, west part of the Philippines uh, next to Pacific Ocean what are those provinces most likely those in Baler Quezon or in somewhere in Bicol in Catandu Catanduanes somewhere in Bicol is that Catanduanes Island <laughs> or somewhere like Siargao or somewhere in Samar where Tacloban is next to that I believe that that is where the location where you can have Ganga bundok na daluyo, some kind of travel, <laughs> travel uh, topic for us now. Five minutes, five minutes for me. Uh, let's see what's next. Reaction. They use pag-asa in a lot of songs. Oh, okay, Kim. Pag-asa. What do you mean in Tagalog? Uh, yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, especially on uh, on church or uh, church songs, inspirational songs, right? Pagasa, and also like in uh, emotional songs, sentimental music. Yeah, Filipino music always sentimental or ballad, ballad. Those are the favorite songs, the genre of Filipinos. That's why there's always pagasa, right? Yeah, I agree, Kim. Next. Next, uh, yeah, I I think I'm yeah, I'm all right here with all my is uh, what side comments and and what else. So I Ganga Bundok is an adjective and it's very figurative, right? Figurative, and literally it's mountain like or it's huge because Bundok is mountain. Okay, so take note, I'm demonstrating the use of my. That's why we need to come up with adjective here. Okay, adjective. I'm introducing to you a bit of adjective. And yeah, with adjective, you cannot avoid being poetic, <laughs> right? Being poetic here. Next, waves, of course, is the Lu Yong. I hope you appreciate this part also. Interesting. Okay, next. My manga, yes, next, another use of my, it must be followed by manga. And manga uh, means uh, plural, you are talking about plural thing. My manga hulang di nagkakatotoo. Di is a short word for, short term for hindi. Yeah, so, yeah, you can be poetic really and because you see when you are writing a kind of uh, poetry, your lines must be in uh, precise length, right? Awesome. So that's why in poetry, uh, you can shor short, uh, you can choose the short term for Hindi. That's why D always arise. I hope, yeah, that's the, to me, that's how I would, I would explain why some words tagalog words are shortcut because of the poetic kind of uh, writing right that is my answer to that so you must be very what very well informed that di and hindi are just the same may mga hulang di or not nagkakatotoo let's find out in english Okay, so I asked the help of my husband to translate this. So he said, there's fortune that won't come true. There's fortune that won't come true. Hula for fortune. And then, of course, manga, my manga. There's, there is, my husband was telling me that there's no plural for fortune. T okay. How true? Tell me. <laughs> is because here in Tagalog, mga hula, plural, because of mga. So if you would literally translate this in English, there are fortunes. Could be uh, plural. Kim, I want your reaction on fortunes. <laughs> fortunes. Uh, what is there no plural, plural form for this one? So this is how we are talking about Tagalog and how to translate it. So that won't come through won't di or hindi or not di won't come naga come through through totoo totoo means true. So again, your kind of conjugation or word transformation. Take note of the root word totoo totoo nagaka totoo. Nagkaka totoo. May mga hulang di nagkaka totoo. Won't come true. Di nagkaka totoo. Yes. Next. Okay, it's 10 30 already, and uh, I need to cut it. And okay, let's me let me see what's coming up next. Oh, oh yeah. I think I uh, I want to cut it this time now because it's quite long. Now, take note. I I need to stop. In this, uh, in this at uh, this part, I need to because there are more examples that's coming up. I hope it's fine with you, and I hope you appreciate my presentation for today. We will continue this next meeting, <laughs> right? Yeah, and uh, I was trying to make it. Uh, 
<laughs> make it a uh, lightning strike but it doesn't make sense better be slacker as simon said right uh, no plural for fortune thank you so there is there's yeah the, our our english uh, the part here is okay so that's the difference you see uh in tagalog uh, this is how we we hi simon yes we are a slacker okay and thank you for well i like to comment again yeah again simon you will forgive us like me i'm a native tagalog speaker sometimes i am so confused on singular plural agreement <laughs> yes that is my struggle really because you see like in that example may mga hula so hula in the in tagalog is plural mga hula we're in here there's no plural so things like that so i'm really struggling struggling on plural singular <laughs> yeah and uh, yeah i think i need to i need to uh, cut it this way halfway this way and uh, let me i like to show you my face <laughs> yes uh and thank you for coming and i look forward for um uh, repeat the audience next to, uh, sunday again yeah i look for make it uh, our habit our routine every week uh, join together our bonding time uh, sharing sharing uh, information or uh, practicing together together i'm practicing my english you're practicing your tagalog how is that that's fun <laughs> Maraming salamat. I'm sending love, light, good relationships, blessings, hope, magandang pag-asa. Your way. Hanggang sa muli. <laughs>